Today I'm going to show you how to use FL Studio. Um, I honestly suck at using it, but if you don't know anything about it, I'll show you the basics. If you don't have it, then it's pointless watching. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, so first, if you actually like bought it, um, you can actually save. So that's that's a good thing, and then you can also download different like custom sets. Um, there's presets. Doesn't come with a lot. There's like piano keys, uh, like a guitar thing. Some I don't know about drums, but um, so if you want to make a beat, you can click on this right here, the channel rack, and there's these different buttons. You can click on one, so I'll just do a kick, each one, and a hat, so you know, uh, you know what, you can do a hat like this, and then kick, and then a snare, so if you play, it does that, it's crappy, but you know, you know what I mean, Oh crap. And if you hold down R or um, right trigger on your mouse, you can just delete it. Like just holding it down. And then, so that's the channel rack. This is where you can also um, get more plugins. So if you wanted piano keys, FL keys, that's what it's called, that comes up. So you have all these little things to work with. And then once you have that up, you can actually go here, you can like set down like manually all the iron. Um, so I mean that's fun. I guess I'll make something real quick for you guys and show you. Alright, so I just made this quick uh, thing real quick. I just added some basic chords. Um, so I'll just listen to it and I'll show you. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, for the chords, I just did every other white key, um, and then right here, I kind of like moved it a little bit. So you're kind of like, kind of like doing, I don't know, but whatever. Um, let's see here. If I click, I don't know what's doing. Oh, wait a second. Shit. Something weird was going on, but anyways, um, so after you finish something, if you go, if you click here, it'll bring you to this, and then this is where you kind of, like, like, put everything together that you've made, and you can make your song, um, just making a few, but... Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay. You know what? You know what? Screw you. So, um, I just made that and I added it here. Um, it was weird for me, but if you go here, you can just click on it and hopefully it'll just go up. But something happened and I just had to make another one, I guess, and then click back on that. It was, it was retarded. Um, so I'll just play it, and then I'll show you. Oh, never mind. Click that. Okay, that's kind of annoying, but you know. Um, so these features are right here. This is kind of like, a s so step, if you add it like this, you'll see it's kind of moving like by steps. Um, if you do none... They'll just, oh, come on, come on, just move, just like on its own, so you can put it wherever you want. And then there's other ones, a half beat, so it's like, so it's like not being retarded right now, and it's like that, it's more, and you can kind of mess around with that, see what you like, uh, I was at step, 
So there's that, and then there's also the mixer. Um, so if you wanted to record, usually you definitely don't want to go on master. You want to do an insert one or anything here. It doesn't really matter. And then um, to record, you just click on that, and sometimes it'll go here. Just unclick the master, because um, then you'll just re record two clips, and one of them will just be the whole song. It'll just like record the sound of the whole song, and the other one will be the sound that you're making. And then, um, what else? And then there is, so when you're making, like, different patterns, like, if you want to add, like, some drums, so I did piano, if you want to add drums or something, I mean, not that I am, just, you just do drums. You can also change the color, you can do whatever you want, and click enter, and you just literally paste it down. Make sure you paste it down first, so then you can play with the song as you're making it on here. I mean, it's still keys, but if I went on here and look for drums, I could find it. And you can also look right here, the smart find, and um, let's see. There's also a metronome, which is useful. And then if you click here, um, you can tap your own tempo. This, oh, you can browse through all of the different, like, uh, presets that they have and all your like sets that you downloaded um, like the FL Slayer so I could just go through here and look for um, my drums or any effects they have distortion delay reverb all that so that's pretty much what it is right here this is an open project plugin picker and then this is the mixer again. The browser, you can just click that, and that will go away. So I usually do that. And then also, um, trying to remember, if you also want to record, and you're trying to find, like, where you, like, if you have, like, an interface like I do, um, you have to go to device, and then you have to go to the um, ASIO devices, and then I have the Yamaha Steinberg, so you just click on that. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. If there's anything that I missed, please tell me, and I can go over that in another video. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.